And I remember last year having great crack uh, with the lead into Halloween. We spoke to John A. We spoke to Con, Cork's oldest trick-or-treaters. Well, they were out and about again last night and they brought a new trick-or-treater with them in the shape of Martin uh, from Ballancolic. They figure they're Cork's oldest trick-or-treaters uh, and they've been doing it for many, many years. If I remember correctly, I think it's somewhere up around mid-Cork. I'm open to correction there. Um, probably wrong. John A., good morning. Morning, Neil. How's it going? 62 year old trick or treater. So you headed out yesterday. Where'd you go? Where did you guys actually travel to? Well, I tell you, know, um, yesterday reminded me of Willie, Willie Nelson's great song called On the Road Again, <laughs> Back on the Road Again, you know? <laughs> yeah, crazy person. <laughs> I wish that was the last night, but Khan couldn't come yesterday because he was doing his charity work. But we collected him later on in the evening. So we started around four o'clock. Khan, what were you we dressed as? A clown, is it? Yeah, oh, I like look like a clown. I didn't have to plan too much stuff. That's yeah. it. <laughs> That's <laughs> a big red nose on you, yeah? I did. I had a big red nose and white eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so where'd you go? Well, I started in uh, out in, uh, would you believe, Carrick Tool. We have a lovely friend from Poland out there. She's Agnieszka and a lovely daughter, Gia. Uh, Gaia. So we went travelling in Carrick Tool Park. And I tell you now, Forward. They were the nicest people who ever come across in the park. Everybody was involved. There were people everywhere. All the mothers and fathers out, and everybody in the houses were giving sweet. And they were all dressed. Some of the people in the houses were dressed up as Batman. There was Wolfman. There was, you know, they were, we were delighted with it. Yes. That was fantastic. Does anybody, it was does anybody say to you when you knock at the door, would you give, would you go in and cop yourself on you're in your 60s? No, they were, I'd say they were delighted to see us. They were, they were in great costume and they were happy, delighted to see us. Well, we know Con yeah, we was the clown. How were you? How were you dressed? Me? Yeah. I was a zombie. I was a zombie. Zombie. So, so what did you get? Did you get? Uh... Well, we got sweets. We got so, loads of sweets, and uh, we got the bucket of water again. Neil, the last house in ovens, all relations of the O'Connells. They had a bucket of water ready for us. <laughs> But we we didn't know person last night. We didn't know young fella last night. Yeah, he's only a young fella. He's only in his fifties. He's fifty. He's fifty years old. Martin. Hello, hello. I'm just coming down off the ladder here on my ground after hanging out with these two guys last night. Hey, hey. So I'm the blowing. I'm the blowing, Neil. I'm the blowing. I just joined them later, but I love it. I love going on with them. The two great guys. And you dressed yeah. as a pirate, were you? A pirate and a sheet, and uh, I never saw so many lollipops in my life. So I, I got so many lollipops and sweets too, Neil. <laughs> how did you get dragged? How did you get dragged into this? I met I met John in, in the pub, and and, and we uh, we clicked straight away. And I, I knew from before, and we we joined up then, and we do anything that goes on, we we join up and we go for a bit of fun and then and a bit of laughter. And it's brilliant. Do you enjoy brilliant. it? Brilliant. The pirate, the clown, and the zombie. Did you enjoy it, Martin? Yeah, we're three amigos. Three amigos. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the, yeah, the people uh, last night, the people in, in, in the carry tour could not get over the amount of people and, and mums and dads and kids. It was brilliant. And every house, every house is so welcome and it was beautiful to see it. I got a, I got a, I'd, be, I'd love to get your thoughts on this, lads. Martin, Con, and John. I got an email in from Claire. She says, Please, would you ever put out a message in future for parents to check their kids' trick or treat bags? My daughter got a bag of sweets this evening, which was last night, that was gone off. One item, the bag of sweets was from, t- was from 2014. Another bag she got in another house was 2018. Another one, 2019. And another one, 2020. This is disgraceful and dangerous, giving out-of-date sweets to kids. <laughs> How do you think of that? Well, they'd, they'd have been suitable for us. They'd actually have been young. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> We're the, we're the oldest we're the, we're the oldest doing it and we're still surviving with all the best sweets we got down through the years Neil, so I don't take too much notice <laughs> you, don't, you don't check the best before days of the sweets you're scoffing no? no 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 no, no. We're, we're, we're healthy I think, we're, we're, I think I'm the, the work with the sweets is that you've got a lot of weight and what? I have a lot of weight now to carry Who's got the lot of weight? I have, there was a big wire to make it fat, but I had to take that out because it was it, it, it was squashing my stomach. It was fitted you last year, did it? 
Oh, if it had been last year, but it, it, it was after coming away out, you know, all the extra sweets we get. But you know something, we're all of a generation actually where the best before date on sweets wouldn't bother us. For we were we were picking up chewing gum off the road. Do you remember that? And then oh. so, so, no, am I the only one? Am I the only one? And you no, it is. We used to stick the rest of it in under the skin. No, you were you were the lucky one. You were you were the chewing gum gum lucky. chewing gum gum before we came along. No, probably I probably picked up yours. But sometimes yeah. the chewing gum that you pick up off the road would have little little stones and and small little pebbles in it. <laughs> yeah. But next year, no, Neil, you might join us. We'll collect you something like that night and we'll bring you over with us. To be, to yeah. join you'd, us. Have a, you'd, you'd have an unbelievable time. <laughs> 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 I'll be washing my hair. <laughs> and you know what my what I'm doing at the moment? <laughs> I'm actually training a chicken to play the piano. Are, yeah, yeah. How are you getting and, on and with I, that? And I call the chicken Frank Hinstein. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, am I supposed I to you. laugh at that? Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Fra- Stein is uh, in the you piano. Can, Neil, you should, give, you should give a call out to Cross Barry, out to Cannes place. It's unbelievable. In fact, all his own style and technique. Oh, he's, he's, um, he's played yeah, a lot of fun. We used to play, you know, like the flying ghosts and things like that. Frank Hinstein. And we, we usually do it for charity, but we didn't take this year or last year because of the COVID and <laughs> we didn't want people kind of mixing too much, you know, handling money and well, things like that. We just wanted the chocolates this year. <laughs> <laughs> we've moved on lads actually we've, we're have we in Christmas mode now you know yeah, yeah, Christmas isn't yeah. the same as Halloween at all Christmas will never beat Halloween because like Christmas is only for people with pressure of cooking and getting people people they don't want in the house yeah. they come into the house yeah. Halloween is like you give them sweets and you send them home you know you can't get people home at Christmas you know it's that kind of <laughs> Halloween yeah. be oh my god yeah. almighty did you, you have there was all the uh, even the kids last night even the older kids were out blowing carry tools so they just great they were all dressed up as well Neil couldn't get over it oh no it's old. bigger now than ever because there's so much choice available you can buy costumes yeah. everywhere and anywhere there's a whole range of things you can do I know but the yeah. was better off made because all I, mean, I know now we were saying we buy them but the, everything is homemade practically with, he, with us yeah do like you ever do, I mean Martin what? Would, would just cut a hole in an old sheet and put it over his head and he got an old hat Martin had yeah. a pirate's costume you know, you're talking about didn't you Martin I guess well, it's going to look piratey. I wore a sheet as well earlier. I wore a sheet. Two costumes. Two costumes, Neil. Because <laughs> we went up to... Uh, we went up to Shannon as well. Up to Shannon's, up to Shannon's way to the... We called up there as well, Neil. So lovely to see that as well. We did. What do you call yourselves? Yeah. Like the three amigos or what? <laughs> well, we had we had a girl with, uh, with more, for the last couple of years was uh, Katie Duggan. But uh, she, yeah, wasn't well. it, she wasn't too well. She wasn't too well at the moment, so she couldn't come over with us. But Martin joined us then, you know. So yeah. we call us the three yeah. amigos now. But we'll we'll see what happens when the fourth joins us or a fifth. <laughs> yeah, what's the minimum four. age? It's fifty. <laughs> no, yeah. no one below that age, you know. <laughs> we missed. We missed. Uh, we missed. We missed. Yeah, Ducky this year. We missed her, yeah. She's normally with us. She's not, she's brilliant as well, yeah. Right, right, okay. Ducky. <laughs> Maybe you might go out and yeah. do the Rand, the Rand, the King of All Birds, Stevens's Day. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. But you know what? Yeah, the yeah. thing we can't sing. We can't do that. <laughs> yeah. I could bring my I could bring my chicken with you. You could bring you could bring yeah. Frank Henstein. <laughs> Yeah, but Neil, Jana, Jana, Jana has a big basket of all different costumes and makeup and paint features. You're not believable. He's and he has his own mirror now to get himself fully look well. Yeah, he brings the mirror with him. That's, yeah, he brings the, the makeup. Him, yeah. So, just yeah. what I'm curious now: when you got all of these sweets and chocolates together, do you all three of you then sit down and eat them somewhere? No, I keep them. I keep them back in the car for another year. <laughs> I, was eat, I, I was in the back of the car with John and I had nearly half my eating eaten before I got to Ballon College even last night. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We won't have to have any dinner now for a week. You're laughing. No, <laughs> right. no. But uh, you might join us sometime, Neil. Oh, sorry, I went into and, a tunnel. You're breaking up. <laughs> hey, hey, I want to tell you, I must, I must give you one small challenge. I must give you one small challenge. I wear the, the Paris outfit sometime and I invite you out to... Oh, it's a beautiful place on oh, Lakewood there. I know you like the tennis, Lakewood tennis club, and you'll be more than welcome sometime. We'll have a hit, is it? Yeah, we'll have a hit. I have a hit, and I plan my costume, and I still I challenge you. Okay. I challenge you. Okay. <laughs> I'll Hopefully take you up on that challenge the trick or treating on my pass anyway talk yeah. soon guys well done cheers oh, well done okay. <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> next yeah. year hey tell you what next year come into studio dressed up right we will okay. we will we okay. will I was in uh, 
I was in your studio before in the ERI, going back to the old days with wow. um, you, Brown, and yourself, and John Blake, and the old days. So I give a call into Red FM, myself and John, uh, and uh, Connie. Well, Connie listen, I'd love to have you back, because that's certainly back in the 80s you're talking about. So it'd yeah, be good to see you again. Yeah, we used to go to the, the, the road shows, uh, Folly, and... Uh, I never saw. I never got so much links and perfume off his. <laughs> on all the <laughs> merch. He's showing your age. He's showing his age. <laughs> showing uh-huh. my age. But uh, we're Be coming first. to see you. John, John, I'll talk to you over there with you. The main man. All uh, right, that's down to you then, John. Get it sorted, okay. John A. We'll uh-huh. see you soon. Uh-huh. Cheers, lads. Neil Prendeville, the voice of Cork, weekdays nine to twelve, Cork's Red FM.